myself raj welcome to raj technologies we are going to start a new course that is full stack java and it's a online course and the highlights of this course are we are going to start from beginning of this java like we initially start with core java we go with database concepts like mysql and mongodb and web technologies like html CSS, JavaScript, Bootstrap, Angular, and the advanced Java like JDBC, Servlets, and JSP. We go with the frameworks like Hibernate, Spring, Spring Boot, and microservices, Linux, and AWS Cloud. And in this course, we are going to see 10 plus real time tools and even DevOps tools. And we go with the project, and the complete course will be real time exposure. And we are going to start this batch from 21st July and the timing is 8 p.m. IST and you can see the demo link and you can find same demo, demo link in the description of this video and the course fee is just rupees 10,000 only. Now let me elaborate more on this course. The course what we are going to learn here is full stack Java. It's an online course. And the prerequisite to join this course is we should have a basic idea on operating systems like either it may be Windows, Linux or Mac OS. Just a basic idea like how to create files, how to explore the files, all those things. And the basic idea on software programming is recommended. Even if you are not having idea, I am going to discuss everything from the scratch. Right? And the course content is, I have divided this course in the form of modules, like module 1, we go with Core Java, module 2, database concepts using MySQL and MongoDB, where MySQL comes under as SQL and MongoDB is NoSQL. And module 3, web technologies, we are going to discuss the web technologies like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Bootstrap, Angular and module 4, advanced Java where we cover JDBC, Java Database Connectivity, Servlets and JSP. And Module 5, this is the very very important module for us, that is Frameworks. We are going to see Hibernate Framework, Spring Framework and Spring Boot. And even we are going to discuss Microservices. Remember, Microservices is not a framework, it's a architecture. And one more very very important module nowadays. So when you want to work as a real-time developer compulsory every developer should have an idea on linux and aws cloud this is not only for java developers it may be related to dotnet developers php developers python developers every developer should have a background of aws and aws cloud and linux and module 7 one more important the real-time tools and devop tools and finally module 8 we go with the project and we are going to develop this project using Spring Boot, Microservices and Angular. And coming to module 1, Core Java, the contents what we discuss in this Core Java is like, initially we start with programming concepts. So if you are not having any idea on programming, this topic is very, very important. So if you want to learn any programming language like C or C++ or Java or .NET or Python, if you are having basic idea on programming concepts, entering into any programming will be very easy for us. Then we go with Java introduction, how to download and install Java and even we are going to use Eclipse IDE in our codes. And we go with basics like the meaning of keywords, variables, data types, operators, scanner class, control statements like if statement, switch statement, while loop, dual loop, for loop. So more of programming, this basics is more of programming where we are going to work on a lot of example programs and we will see about arrays and one more very very important java object oriented programming this is the very important topic for us if you are good with object oriented programming entering into any programming will be easy for us that is understanding the remaining topics of java will be easy and in this object oriented programming we will be learning about what is class, what is object, constructors, static keyword, packages, inheritance, polymorphism, 
access modifiers, abstract classes interfaces as a high level. Then even we discuss about some of the predefined classes like object class, string class, string buffer class, string builder class, math class, how to generate random numbers, how to generate OTPs. We are going to see even proper classes like that. And one more exception handling, multi-threading, collections, and we even discuss the important features added in Java 8 version like functional interfaces, lambda expressions, and stream API. And finally, we go with IO package. IO means input output package. And module 2, we are going to see database concepts using SQL and NoSQL. When you go to SQL, we are going to make use of MySQL database. And related to NoSQL, we'll see the concepts using MongoDB. And module 3, we go with the web technologies. We are going to learn the web technologies like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, TypeScript, Bootstrap, XML, JSON and Angular. And what is the need of going with this web technologies? It's for web development. The content, whatever you want to display onto the browser, we are going to do by using this web, te web technologies. This is front end part. For front end of your application, we are going to make use of web technologies. And module for advanced Java, even we say Java EE, that is enterprise edition, main use is to develop web applications. And we will be learning JDBC, Servlets and JSP. JSP stands for Java Server Pages. And one more very important module, Frameworks Module 5. We are going to see Hibernate Framework, Spring Framework, under Spring Framework. We will be learning the modules like Spring Core, Spring IOC, Spring AOP. And the next one, Spring Boot. Nowadays, any Spring application we are developing, we are using Spring Boot. But to understand Spring Boot, a basic idea of Spring Framework is enough that I'm going to cover with the Spring Core module and IOC and modules. Spring Core and Spring IOC modules are enough to understand Spring Boot. And the remaining concepts, modules of Spring, we are going to learn by using Spring Boot. Like we'll be understanding Spring Boot starters. Uh, what is this Spring DAO module? How to go with Spring JDBC? Spring Hibernate, Spring ORM module. Spring Data JPA module, Spring Web MVC module to develop web applications, Spring REST module to develop REST APIs, Spring Security module, one more very, very important module for authentication and authorization. We go with microservices. We'll understand the difference between monolithic application and microservice application. We'll understand about API gateways, Eureka server, service registry. These all things we are going to cover under module 5 and module 6 very very important one nowadays for any developer that is linux and aws cloud and next one module 7 we are going to cover real time tools and DevOps tools like uh, maven tool project lombok tool github tool log4j for logging jnit for unit testing mockito Postman, Zira, Docker, and Jenkins. So in this, we can find Java related tools and even DevOps tools. These are very, very important for any developer. And finally, we go with the Java real time project. This is very, very important. We are going to develop this project using the backend like uh, Spring Boot and microservices and the front end we develop using Angular and we are going to deploy the application by using Docker and Jenkins. Right? Okay. The duration of this course totally it goes with 4 months maximum and the fee for this course is rupees 10,000 and you can attend first to 5 classes for free. First to 5 demo classes you can attend for free and uh, as informed, we are going to start the batch from 21st July at 8 p.m. IST. And you can find the demo link to join these first five classes. And you can find the same GoToMeeting link in the description of this video. And for more details, you can contact us to our contact number 
our WhatsApp number 9390473579 and email ID rajtechonlinetrainings at gmail.com and you can find more videos related to our channel in our YouTube channel that is Raj Online Trainings. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please subscribe, like and share.